So while you manage the quality, it's very, very important that you control the quality as well. Let's see what are we going to do while we control the quality. So control quality is the process of monitoring and recording the results of executing the quality management activities in order to assess performance and ensure the project outputs are complete, correct and meet the customer expectation. The key benefit of this process is verifying that the project delivery uh, deliverables and work meet the requirements specified by the key stakeholders or the for the final uh, accepted product. Right, very very important. So that's what the part of quality controlling a quality is. Let's see what are the inputs. You need the project management plan uh, as a part of monitoring and controlling. You need the project management plan. You also need the project documents because this completes. Uh, these includes all the documents, uh, all the project management plan documents, all the uh, project documents as well. You need all that and then you need to control your quality. Your approved change request, you remember we raised some of the change requests and now you are going to approve these change requests because you need to finalize on what is going to be, what needs to be verified and what needs to be let go. You also need the deliverables. A deliverable is uh, nothing but uh, whatever has been created, uh, the verified product result uh, or you know any performance of the service. Uh, that is something which is known as the deliverable. You will do that and then you will take that forward. Work performance data. Work performance data contains data on the product uh, status such as observation, quality metrics, uh, measurement for technical performance as well as the project quality information on schedule performance and the cost performance. You need to know what is happening around the industry. So you need the EEFs. You also need to know what's happening within. So you need the OPAs, which is the organization process assets, the standards, the policies, the templates, everything is a part of the OPAs. So let's see what are the tools and techniques. So you took the project management plan, uh, which has all the planning processes. You took the project document, which has all the documents as well. Now, these are all the documents that you've created. Now, let's see what are the tools and techniques that you can use for controlling your quality. Data gathering. We've seen this tool and technique before as well. We know checklist and check sheets, uh, statistical sampling. What do you mean by statistical sampling? That, you know, in case if there is an order of creating an entire building and, you know, you just created a wall, you just check the wall to see if the quality of the cement throughout the building is fine or no. So that is what is known as statistical sampling. Then you talk about questionnaire and surveys. You try and find out and gather information on the customer satisfaction. And then, you know, um, deploy uh, satisfaction after the deployment of the product or the service. Data analysis, performance reviews, root cause analysis. These are all tools and techniques that can be used for doing a control quality check. Inspection, uh, we did inspection at the time of execution as well. Inspection is the examination of the work product to determine if it conforms to product documented standards. Whatever has been documented at the time of planning, whether it meets it or it doesn't meet it. That's what is known as inspection. Testing and product evaluation. Testing is an organized and constructed investigation conducted to product provide objective information about the quality of the product or service under test in accordance with the project requirement. The type, amount and the extent of test needs needed to evaluate each requirement are part of the project quality plan and depend on the nature of the project, time, budget and other constraints. Right? You can use the data representation tools and techniques as well. Cost and effect diagram, control charts, histograms, so scattered diagrams, these are all the way in which you can identify your data representation technique. Meetings, of course, you need to talk to your project team, your stakeholders, you can do meetings. Now let's see what are the outputs while you do the control quality check. Control quality measurement are the documented results. Now what has been the result of control quality activity? They should be captured in the format that has been specified in the quality management plan. Now, this cannot be very uh, different than what is there in your organization. It will definitely be a part of what is your organizational process. 
so you do that your verified deliverables now that the deliverables has been uh, checked through the sampling and testing of the product etc your verified deliverables is something which is an output of the control quality now this determines that the correctness of the deliverables the result of performing the quality control process are verified deliverables that become an input to the validate scope process for formalized acceptance work performance information work performance information is nothing but but that information that provide that talks on the project requirement fulfillment causes for rejection or list of verified deliverables status of quality matrix rework that needs to be done recommendation for action or corrective actions etc that is something which is a part of the work performance information and change request we did change request at the time of executing the quality as well and we are we will do it at the time of controlling the quality as well if the change occurs during the control quality process that may impact any of the component of the pmp which is the project management plan or the pd which is the project document the project manager uh, should submit a change request change request a process through picc another one is that your project management plan gets updated your project documents also gets updated so this is how you plan manage and control your quality